Hi everyone, I'm here today with a very special guest. I've got Tracy Spicer, welcome. Hello, thank you. So you're here to chat about your first book. Yes, The, the Good, Good Girl, Girl Stripped Bear. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a bit about it? Yes, um, Harper Collins approached me to write a memoir and I thought, I really want to write a book that has meaning to women and girls in Australia about the challenges we face every day, whether it's in the workplace or with regards to our appearance in society. So I guess I used my 30 years in the Australian media as a little bit of a skeleton around which to weave, you know, how far we've come as women, but how far we still have to go. Yeah. How did you come up with the title? Were you once a good girl that turned bad? Is that what happened? <laughs> oh, I can't say too much. Uh, look, there's two reasons. I did a TEDx talk called The Lady Stripped Bear, where mm. I deconstructed the beauty myth by getting on stage, ripping off my gear, wiping off my makeup, and yep. showing the unreasonable expectations about how women are supposed to appear in society. You yep. know, it's just crazy. So that's where the stripped bear came from. And the good girl, I guess I've always suffered from good girl syndrome, mm. like a lot of women and girls. Yeah. Even now, you know, we're expected, you know, not to stand up for ourselves, and if we do, we're called bossy. So I wanted to really deconstruct, you know, to how we can shake off those shackles of the good girl syndrome that hold us back. You call it she constructing, don't you? I do, because we really need to go back to our childhoods and think about you know, how we were told to be the good girl and to sit there and be quiet and be the glue in men's yeah. conversations and don't talk about money, that's not very ladylike, just sit there and be quiet. Yeah. And once we break that down, we have more confidence to see it in others and see it in the workplace and work out how to stand up for ourselves and, and forge forward. Do you have any tips for us to all the for all the good girls out there who need to really you know break through those shackles yes please any tips? she construct have, she construct have confidence yep. in yourself yep and really believe me because when I finally shook off the shackles and stood up for myself yeah. and sued a television network for pregnancy discrimination and yeah. started a media campaign about the way women were treated in the workplace, it was the best thing I ever did. So do have the confidence to stand up for yourself. It will be the best thing that you ever do in your life. So is it when you fell pregnant that's when they let you go? What happened was all of my friends had been let go in television once they became pregnant or had a child. Mm. We used to have going away parties when women mm. became pregnant, you know, because we knew they weren't going to be right. coming back to the workplace. Right. So when I became pregnant with my first child, yeah. uh, I knew the writing would be on the wall for me. There were very few newsreaders who had children back in those days who were allowed to because you had to be seen yeah. in this, you know, sexy role right. which was ridiculous you know it's I was a journalist I wasn't a, a model sitting up there reading the news it was just incredibly ridiculous so when I tried to come back from maternity leave with my first child yeah. uh, they tried to put me behind mm. the scenes to demote me and I stood up for myself finally the good girl stripped bare and I said no what you're trying to do is illegal and immoral and I will take you to court mm. sounds really cool now but mm. I was terrified my hands mm. were shaking under the desk yeah. I thought it was the end of my career I went up to HR I stood up for myself I got my old job back but then when I became pregnant with my second child and tried to come back from maternity leave that's when they got rid of me because I had a black mark against my name right. Still, it was the best thing that I ever did because it started mm. a national conversation about maternity discrimination. And I stood in solidarity with so many other women who'd gone through similar yeah. things. And now there was more information, more state and federal legislation and union regulations to protect women. Mm. And we're more able to stand up for ourselves. And I think that's a wonderful thing. Definitely. So we can all, we all have Tracy to thank for that. No, not yeah. me. But standing <laughs> in solidarity together. You. Yeah. You know, we stand on the yeah. sh on the shoulders of giants of the suffragettes yeah. and the second wave and third wave feminists, and yeah. we all just try to do our own little bit yeah. to move forward. If you're interested in this book, perhaps for Mother's Day, check it out at booktopia.com.au. <laughs>